What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin awesome Show. Today we're looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Lex Luthor figures. So we have these two figures that we've had for quite a while just trying to figure out what to do with them. But we have two different versions here of Lex Luthor. So we have the new 52 version. So it's more of like that classic look of Lex Luthor in the power suit. So the all green and purple power suit which looks pretty cool. You know very robotic and everything but it does look awesome. And then we have Lex Luthor in the power suit but from the dark side war. So where he kind of gets the powers and becomes the new dark side. Comes with the awesome throne including and everything so that's going to be really cool so both of these figures look pretty cool you know it's awesome to get Lex Luthers always have to have those to go in your collection so we have the classic one and then this newer version which the coolest part for me is just the chair that's like the best thing about this version but I'm excited to check them out so let me get them out of box and we'll take a look at them together so let's start off with our new 52 Lex Luthor and his power suit. So of course his real name is Alexander Luthor and he is a genius and ego-centered businessman, the founder of Lex Corp and is the main antagonist of Superman. Now here of course we have him in his power suit so he has this awesome green and purple power suit which looks pretty cool. But I guess the suit is made of apocalyptic technology with superhuman strength and durability. It has the power of flight, energy projection, and force field generation. So it looks pretty cool overall and like I said a very classic looking suit suit design for Lex Luthor of course with the new 52 more details and everything are into it so it's not as flat as it was in like the old comics but has the nice like arc reactor sort of thing there and then I like the all green the nice bright green they chose it's metallic as well so it has this nice shininess to it as well as the purple as you can see the shininess on there metallicness but I like that color combination of just the green and purple looks really nice just overall for the entire suit and looks pretty cool so otherwise than that you know the only thing really that's Lex Luthor besides the classicness of the suit is his head there so it's the all ball head of Lex Luthor there of course with the side eyes kind of looking over this direction but looks pretty decent overall you know doesn't look bad unfortunately his like body's a little bit all crooked as you can see like the midsection kind of goes this way and then his body goes that way and I've been trying to straighten it up but it just kind of pops right back into position the way it was so I can't really get that fixed too well it looks very nice just overall for the figure itself so for its movements let's go do that the head can twist around in there I thought I'd be able to twist all the way around but the color's too high up and gets in the way and they can look down that far and up just about that far again because because the color so not too bad overall the shoulders can come up 90 degrees has that like butterfly style joint in there rotate all the way around we had a bicep twist the double elbow joint that can bend up pretty much up on itself so pretty good there the wrist can twist around and of course it's on the ball joint so it can flex wherever the ball is so it looks like up and down here we have the upper ab crunch so crunch forward crunch back so a little bit crunching but mostly twist around in there and again you can kind of twist side to side so that's what i'm trying to do to like get them to straighten up but it keeps like popping back into place but you can get like a little twist side to side there and then we have the lower crunch at the waist so crunch even further forward even further back there and then twist all the way around there as well the hips can come up about over 90 degrees there out to the side of course can do the splits with the McFarlane joints a little bit of a thigh twist in there a double knee joint that bends up this far to the back so not too bad then we have the ankle joint that can rock back and forth and twist side to side and then of course have the toe joint on the end and so of course with him being in the bigger bulkier suit and everything it does help him stand up so I don't really have any issues getting him to stand but of course he does come with the display base so let's go ahead and pop him on there so there we go and he also has a set of hands as well so it's like an open sort of like palm hand and then a fist hand as well to go with the two like grip style hands he already has so unfortunately it doesn't come with any like weapons or any sort of things it would have been cool to get like a kryptonite crystal or something like that for him to hold but unfortunately he doesn't come with any of that but we do have his card so there's a picture of the figure on a nice display it looks pretty cool there and on the back it says his real name alexander lex luther it says a brilliant business businessman and inventor billionaire Lex Luthor once saw himself as the most powerful man on earth until Superman arrived. Rather than using his wealth and genius to help humanity, Luthor uses his gifts in repeated attempts to destroy the Man of Steel. Though he's often defeated, Luthor is an extremely dangerous foe and his super intellect is his deadliest weapon. He's consistently inventing new devices in the war against Superman including his high-tech armored suit which he uses to battle Superman. So there's a little bit of explanation of his suit and everything there and backstory of Lex Luthor that's kind of like common knowledge sort of stuff but looks pretty nice overall like I said I wish he would have come with more stuff just to make it more dynamic and everything but he just looks really cool this is like an awesome looking version of Lex Luthor now we also have Lex Luthor here from the Dark Side War storyline. So in this story, Lex Luthor joins the Justice League in the war against Dark Side and Anti Monitor. He travels with the Justice League to Apocalypse to fight Dark Side, and after Dark Side's defeat, a large amount of the Anti Life Equation energy is released, and it gets absorbed into Lex Luthor, and he gains special abilities, and he redeemed himself the new God of Apocalypse and became the new Dark Side. So he looked like this, and then he used a Mother Box to build a Superman-inspired armor. And 
And once he returned to Earth, he declared himself the new Superman since Superman had died. So he has a suit very similar to what he had, you know, that is minor differences. Like he has these shoulder pads now and some changes on the gauntlet pieces. Everything else looks pretty much exactly the same. And just now in the Superman colors of the red and blue has the S on his chest and then it has like the dark side inspired face. So it's still like skin looking and stuff with like the skin color, but it looks more dark sidey with weird lines and the big eyebrows, wide eyes and stuff. And of course the head covering and everything there. So if we go and bring that other one in, you can see like the similarities and stuff between the two, like I said, especially in the armor, they're pretty much the exact same, used a lot of the same pieces and stuff, just recolored it, but changed a few pieces. So for the movements, it's pretty much gonna be similar. The head can twist there. It looks like this one can twist all the way around because the color is much softer and lower down. You can look down that far and up that far. So you have much better movements in the neck there overall. Shoulders can come up 90, have butterfly joint, and of course can rotate around within there. We get the bicep twist, the double elbow joint that's a little stiff on this figure, but can bend up that far once again, so close to bending all the way up on itself. The wrist can twist around and again, flex on the bulb. Upper ab crunch again, so crunch forward, crunch back. Very little crunching on this figure. It's real stiff, but it can twist around there as well. And again, has some sort of that like, tilt side to side and everything, trying to get it straightened up. Then has the lower joint, so it's crunch forward, crunch back, and twist around there as well. Hips up 90, out to the side of the far, can do the splits, a little bit of the thigh twist again. Double knee joint bends up that far to the back. And the foot rocks back and forth and can twist side to side with the toe joint on the end. And just like the other one with the bigger suit, it's easier to stand up. He does have more issues. It's still not bad. Like, and it can easily get him to stand, but he does have some more like his foot joints a little bit off, like the ankle joint stuff. But he does, of course, come with a base that we can stick him on. But we don't really need to because he does come with the throne of Apocalypse. So, of course, the throne that like Darkseid himself sits on and the throne of Apocalypse, which looks pretty cool. It's you know, very basic, just an all like plastic piece. You know, it's pretty hollow and stuff. Just has this back piece attached on it, but looks cool. Has the nice Omega logo there, which which is cool and all sorts of designs coming out from that and then there's some nice circles here on the front of the square design which it looks really weird because it looks like there's two separate pieces like this side seems to have more like detailed designs and texture where this one's more flat but the front here looks more like cut out and detailed and stuff so it's just a really weird like they took two separate pieces like they didn't belong and pop them together here but it's a nice overall throne we don't get thrones a lot with figures so it's really cool to have this and we've already tried to sit him in it and it doesn't really fit too well it's just too like big and bulky and stuff but let me see if i can try and get him in it so there's the Lex Luthor in the throne and he obviously he sits in and stuff doesn't look too bad he's just not sitting in it perfectly like his, it looks like his butt's not even touching the seat and everything just the overall design stuff so maybe something you just have to completely mess around with until it looks really good but I think overall there that does look pretty awesome and then of course we finally have his card so there's another good picture of him on a display with that chair and I like how it has the mother box I wish we would have like got one with this figure or the other one or something but of course it's Lex Luthor from the Dark Side Wars again it's same name Alexander Lex Luthor says a brilliant businessman and inventor billionaire Lex Luthor once saw himself as the most powerful man on earth until Superman arrived. Rather than using his wealth and genius to help humanity, Lex Luthor has used his gift to repeated attempts to destroy the Man of Steel. Now here we get some different stuff, but after the death of Darkseid in the Darkseid War, Luthor absorbs the tyrannical ruler's incredible power and leaves the metropolis for Apocalypse. Upon arrival, Luthor creates a new power suit, one emblazoned with Superman's S shield on his chest and becomes the new god of Apocalypse. So it's pretty much the same thing until there we got to the apocalypse related stuff But very cool overall for this figure like I said the chair is definitely the like the coolest thing about this figure for me At least like I don't really care too much for this figure I definitely like the other Lex much better But getting that chair included and stuff especially at the cheaper price is really cool So I'm glad they did that But there we have our two figures together the two different versions of Lex Luthor That I think are really cool and awesome looking figures But let me know what you thought of them down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review Let me know the thumbs up but I want to thank Thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.